as he makes his way down to the ring. The Giants not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. On underway. Rusher's on the receiving end of a hook. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. The Giants showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Rusher's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Uppercut, come on, champ, throw that uppercut. Good combination by Crusher. Crusher's got to deal with a cut cheek. Keep it going. Good shot. Not able to land the headshot. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Don't let him get at you. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Crusher's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. End of round one. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Crusher's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that, but the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. He comes back with the left hand again. Bang the it's all right. He moves. He moves. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Right to the belt line. Look at the mess in the ring right now. Crusher's cut is just painting himself. Right. Yeah, it's a good thing. At least we think that judges are not influenced by the way a fighter looks. Because if they were, no rounds are going in his favor. Excellent one-two by the Giant. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Nice work on the right hand by Crusher. Right to the body. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Body shot lands, it was the right. Final 60 seconds after two minutes of pure fury. Parries that punch intended for the head. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Stay away from those. Blocks away that head shot. You got this one, baby. You got this one. Look at that combination by Crusher. Great movement to get away from those punches. Solid. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two. Yeah, wow! So out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. Nice. 
The Giants' combination punching is working well here. A stabbing right hand by Crusher. Crusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. The Giants' recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Double jab, double jab. Jab, jab. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Crusher. Hooks on the inside. Hooks on the inside. Come on, punch, punch. That's what I want to see. Good combination to the body. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. And round three comes to an end. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Start of round number four. Fairly close fight with one exception. Rusher scored the knockdown in this fight. He's up two rounds to one. And his opponent cannot really be influenced or panic right now at this stage of the fight because of that. He still has to stay within his fight. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by the Giants. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two Aspen and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good job with another left hand. Hey, keep your hands up. Keep going. Good smooth work by Crusher. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Halfway through this round. Well, he goes to the gut with a right hand. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand downstairs. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Signifying the end of the round. Critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. There's the combo downstairs. Crusher's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Crusher. 
He got hit, but he sends it right back. Halfway into round number five here. Comes right back with a shot of his own. The Giants got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch score. Get it. Rusher's doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Headshot lands with a hook. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. The Giants not able to have the real estate he wants. Just not utilizing that jab to get through that front door and to the inside. No, and that's where he needs to be. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. A clean, crisp right hand by the Giant. Solid uppercut. Rushers putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good step back counter punch there. Rushers putting forth a great combination there. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Crusher. He comes right back with some offense of his own. The Giants so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. He has his target. He lands a straight right. This deep into the fight, and they're both like runaway trains, non-stop. They're finding out things nice. that they never knew about each other. They're finding it out to our benefit, where we can sit back and enjoy it. Target by the Giants. Very clever move there. Little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Keep Crusher. That jab, baby. Do that again. That look good. Do that one more time. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the six. Head movement. Head movement. Scores well to the head with the right hand. And the round comes. And the round comes in form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. To the head he goes with a left hand. Rusher is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good looking uppercut that time. Unable to connect by Crusher. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. The Giants crushed by a big right hand. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Stay 
Lands flush with the two punch combo by the Giant. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. See how he targets that hook? The Giant's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Good return fire that time. Oh, it really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Pressure scoring with that right hand. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jam pumping and throw the lead right hand. As we begin round number eight here, it's clear cut who's got the lead. He's been up since the opening bell on your scorecard, Teddy. Well, look, I don't like to knock or in any way make fun of any fight. Anybody who can climb up those steps get in the ring, they're a special person. But somebody needs to tell him it's okay to move your head once in a while. Well put together combination by Crusher. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. And now he's targeting upstairs. Crusher's tagged. Brings the hook that time. Well played, straight right hand. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. Crusher's able to land a nice, clean left hand. The Giants just a sitting target here now. I mean, you, you know where to find him each and every time you come on the attack. Yeah, he's very predictable. He needs to get on those feet a little bit. Oh, he is. Did you see that? How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. No, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Unable to land clean by the Giant. Now he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. And that's the end of round eight. Eight. Just 60 Good. seconds right. to deal with the fact Agreed. that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show that they can perform under those conditions. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. The Giants doing well here with that two-punch combination. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. The Giants showing us a side that we haven't seen before, and obviously the knockdown brought that about. Yes, it did, and he's hoping that tight. Oh, that's got to hurt. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible, and the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see, a good combination punch by Crusher. He is swinging for the fences trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Halfway through the ninth round. Very accurate two-punch combo by the Giant. He snaps a jab. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. 
Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Fires right back at him. Right to the belt line. The Giants gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does. And the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. Well, you can mark down another round for him there with his precise, accurate punching. What does his opponent have to do? He has to faint a little bit. Fainting is to kryptonite to timing. It throws it off. You know, you faint and you're going to throw something, you don't throw it. And then he makes a move, then you throw it. Fainting. That's the key. And he returns on that exchange. Good, solid right hand lands. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Rusher is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. A flush hook scores well for him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. He scored well after being hit himself. Rusher is showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways, I tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Look at this swarming attack. Crusher's taking a barrage of punches. He could go down. And bang, and away he goes. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Five. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Now get up off that mat. Come on, baby. Where's your pride? Get up. Nine. Ten. Stand up. Stand up. And it's all over. The Giants smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count.